here's the thing. If you want to, if you want to jump two or three steps up the ladder, then what you have to do is you have to leverage basically people that have made their kind of money or greater and aren't afraid of their own shadow. I told this lady, I said, I don't want you to do anything but put in front of Ann or myself uh, 20 people that minimally make over $100,000 a year. Okay? They have routinely made that kind of money. And I said, otherwise, what we're dealing with is trying to heal the handicap. And I'm not saying we shouldn't do that. Okay? What I'm saying to you is it's going to take you a long, long time unless you step up your recruiting game to the level where they're not afraid of their own shadow. They're not afraid of making money. They're not afraid of getting a no or someone not answering their, their phone calls. Okay. They've got to be in a situation where they decide that, you know what, I can look at an op opportunity. I talked to a guy uh, the other day, uh, I guess it might've been last week early or late last week. Uh, He's made millions, absolutely millions. And I said, I don't know, I don't get you. I said, you're one of the brightest guys I've ever known. And I said, I, yeah, I think you're sort of stupid. And he says, he says, what do you mean by that? I said, you know what I have. You know you don't have it. And you continue to ding around with something over here because it's yours. And I said, here's the problem that I got with you. He says, what's that? I said, how many people have you taken to the top with you? He says, a few, one or two. Oh, that's wonderful. I said, why don't you take an army with you to the top? See, that's where I think we've got to go with some of the, the people that are really uh, financially strong. How many people have you taken to the top with you? Okay, so let's move our game up.